Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video. If you are new here and this is your first time on my channel, welcome. So happy to have you here today. It is currently a Sunday afternoon, so it's very chill day, nothing too much is happening. So I thought it would be fun to sit down and film another updated Q&A for you guys because you seem to really love these types of videos and I also enjoy just answering any questions you guys have because I get a lot of repeated comments sometimes and I also just like to share more about me so you can get to know me on a more personal level. So I had you guys send me questions on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should. Shameless plug right here. But um, I do a lot of polls on my Instagram stories so I just had you guys send in your questions and also asked on the community tab here on YouTube. So I got quite a few questions. I'm going to try and get through all of them, but no promises because um, I can't remember how many there are. Like I said, if you want to follow me on my other socials, I'll have them all linked down below. I even have my Spotify if you want to listen to the same music and vibe together. And by all means, stick around and subscribe if you want. I mean, it's up to you. Um, but let's get on into the questions. The first question I got is, how tall are you? And a few people have asked me this and they always get really shocked. And I think it's really funny because obviously I know my height and I don't know how I am perceived, you know? Like I don't know what height I look like on camera, but I am very short. I am 5'1", well, like five and a half an inch, so I just rounded up to five one. I am very, very petite. Somebody once said that they thought I was like five seven, which I thought was comical. I mean, I wish, but no. Sadly, I'm fun size, I am small. I haven't grown since I was like 14, maybe 15, so yeah. Dunkin' or Starbucks? Starbucks, easy. To give you a short answer, Starbucks will always have my heart. I do enjoy Dunkin'. I used to hate Dunkin'. Like a couple years back, I've really come around to enjoy Dunkin' iced coffee, but Starbucks is bae and always will be. Will there be merch coming out in the future? So, yes, there is. I might have made a few announcements on my channel, kind of like teasing at it, and I spent a lot of time trying to work out the designs and make sure that they were perfect and something that really like reflected me as a person and my brand, quote unquote, and also something that I was really proud of and just really enjoyed. So um, I do have merch on its way. I did already order samples. I think they should be coming in the mail within the next week. So I just want to make sure that everything looks good and ready to go, but I will be making a kind of announcement video and show you guys the merch when it is released. I'm so excited though, like this has been something I've wanted to do for a really long time. I did also throw it out there for you guys and I received some really good feedback and you guys seem to want merch. So um, it's coming soon, I promise, stay tuned within the next month for sure it will be out so yay what test levels are you on moves in the field freestyle and dance for anyone who's confused by that that is figure skating terms you have to test different levels to move up in the sport um so i did pass my senior moves in the field test when i was 10 years old so i was i was literally a, a, a baby a baby when i passed those um I passed my senior freestyle test when I was 14, I think. Yeah, 14 years old. And dance, to be completely honest, I'm not entirely sure what dance I left off on. I have been thinking about maybe getting back into it just to get my gold dance test. Um, there wasn't a real reason why I stopped. I just got busy with like other aspects of the sport and that wasn't my main focus. So I want to say I'm on like silver dances maybe pre-silver or silver but i want to say silver i don't remember the last dance i ended up on but yeah did you enjoy london why did you move out so i loved london i love london with all of my heart it's such an amazing city it's literally a dream and i had the best time when i lived there for the summer but i did just do a short summer study abroad program so my program was only like eight weeks 
so that is the reason why I left London I didn't like pick up and move entirely there it was just like a temporary placement if you will but yeah the city is incredible I've always loved New York City but London is New York City times a thousand for me like I want to go back so badly and now I have friends that live throughout England and in London um, from my contract so yeah I definitely see myself visiting again in the near future once COVID is you know chilled out once she has left the chat yeah where do you live so I'm not gonna give you my coordinates my location none of that but <laughs> for my international peeps out there I do live in the United States um, but more specifically, I live in Buffalo, New York. So if you've ever heard of Buffalo Chicken Wings, that's where they're from. They're from here. Um, we're known for the Bills. Go Bills. That is how you say hello and goodbye in Buffalo. And we have really good food. Um, also, if you've ever had sponge candy, sponge candy is from Buffalo. But yeah, it's a pretty decent sized city. I live in a suburb of Buffalo. So I don't live like right in the city, but I'm about 25 minutes away. What is your hardest jump and spin in figure skating? So I would say jump wise, I used to be able to do through triple flip and like I was doing triple sow, triple toe combination for a hot minute. Um, but that wasn't like a consistent, super consistent jump for me. I would say triple flip. The lighting is going in and out and it's driving me nuts, but there's nothing I can do about it, simply put. If you had to predict when you see yourself back on cruise ships, realistically, I would say the fall, like by September for sure, um, but I'm being optimistic and I'm hoping by the summertime I can be back. That would be incredible. But again, we haven't really heard all too much from Royal. They give us updates, but they're kind of very shallow updates. There's not a lot to them, so we still don't really know when we're gonna go back. I think with the vaccines being distributed right now, that's a very good sign and we're like, we're on the latter half of it, like we're on the way out. So fingers crossed that ship vlogs will be back in a few months. Do you have to audition again for Royal Caribbean? So I personally do not because technically I was hired through a different company, a figure skating ice show company. So I auditioned and applied through them. And I am technically obviously hired by Royal, but my position is different because I know other entertainment positions do have to like re-audition, like the dancers and the singers, they have to go right back into the like audition pool basically, which is crazy. But I am very grateful that I do not have to do that as long as I do a good job on my contracts. I can like continue to work for them. How do you edit your videos or maybe a video of process from start to end product? So this is like very complex. Um, I do have a video how I started my YouTube channel and tips of things to know when you're starting out, but I can definitely do an entire separate video of how I edit because I do use iMovie and I think a lot of people are surprised by that. But there's like little tips and tricks that I like to use to really get the most out of iMovie. But yeah, let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that because I can definitely film that. Do you ever get seasick? I do not get seasick. I do know a few people who do and they've told me they don't really get seasick too much on the cruise ships because they're so freaking big. Like on a smooth sea day, you can't even feel the water whatsoever. Like you forget that you're on a boat. Obviously the smaller the ship, the more seasick you would probably feel if you do usually get motion sickness, but I personally do not. Do you think someone can learn figure skating and skate in, for example, Disney on Ice, even if they are 20? Absolutely. It is never too late to start something new. I've said it a billion times, but I'll continue to say it. If it's your passion, if it's your dream, just chase it. It's never ever too late to start something new and you're never too old. Age does not determine success whatsoever. How long was your longest relationship? So my longest relationship was actually my first relationship and that was like four years. That's crazy. Four years. Also just want to mention there's no bad blood there, like at all. Have you ever thought about teaching figure skating? So that's funny you ask because I 
have taught a little bit here and there but never like dived into it but recently like the last month ish or so i've been teaching more i choreographed a program for a girl at the rink which was so much fun and so rewarding and i really really do want to get more into coaching because it's super fun and i love working with kids have you been to europe if yes what did you like the most if not which country would you visit first um i have been to europe multiple times i have been to france i've been to italy i've been to england i've been to the netherlands i've been to austria i've been to spain i've been to where else did i go germany technically yes but i just flew in there so i don't really count it i think that's it but i do intend on going back and seeing every country because I love to travel. Secret boyfriend and tattoo? So, I mean, I don't have a secret boyfriend. I've been seeing a guy, but I haven't like documented it, if you will. I'm not like keeping it hidden, but like, yeah, I guess. And tattoos, I do have four tattoos. So this is a heart with an airplane in it for travel. I've got this little guy, I have a vlog on both of these. Um, this is a skate blade matching with my mom and then I have a wave on my right ankle and I have a buffalo outline on my left foot. I like really simple, small, delicate tattoos. Since you went to the Junior Olympics, why didn't you go to the Olympics? Okay, first of all, it's really friggin' hard to go to the Olympics. Like, I am not good enough to make it to the Olympics and I never was. Um, and also, if you go to the Youth Olympics, it doesn't qualify you automatically for the like big Olympics. They're two completely separate things. To answer it simply, I just was not good enough, but that's okay. It's okay. Favorite university memory? Um, oh my God, my camera's gonna die. Uh, what's my favorite university memory? It's really hard to pick like one specific memory, but I think just the atmosphere of like a weekend with my best friends because senior year like three of my best friends lived in an apartment together so I basically was like the honorary roommate I was there 24 7 like I just would stay for days on end I'd pack a huge bag and it was just so fun like getting ready together getting food together you know studying going to chapter together just all of that I'd say that or getting my big in my sorority because sorority was like a very important part of my college experience. I never really talked about it on my channel, but um, yeah, I was in AE5, so yeah, probably that. Have you always wanted to be a figure skater or have you considered other careers in the past? Also, what's your favorite and least thing favorite things about working on a cruise ship? I've always wanted to skate. I've always wanted to do professional ice shows. Um, but I do also love fashion and the fashion industry and that's something I've also always wanted to have a job or career involved with fashion. So I do intend on using my degree once I'm done with professional shows, whenever that is, because I do have a huge passion for all things fashion. Um, I would love to be a stylist, whether it's for like movie sets or music videos or even just for brands. Yeah, I'd also love to be a full-time content creator. That is like another thing that I really, really want to do. So hopefully, so hopefully that can happen down the road. The second part of that question, my favorite and least favorite things about the ship. I could honestly answer this for hours. So I'm going to just leave a link to another video all about ship life because I do answer this question in that video. But yeah, go check it out. Um, I answer that and a bunch of other ship related questions that you might have, so. My camera is going to die, so I just wanna quickly end off this q and I hope you guys enjoyed chatting, well, me chatting to you at my camera, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Hope you learned a little more about me. If you wanna see a part two, drop any more questions you have below. And I love you all to bits. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for 13K. And I will just see you in my next video. Bye, guys.